Yes, it is Sunday, but we're not going to send it just yet because I've just had a brainwave and I wanted to run it through you guys at home. So I saw Point Seven are doing a virtual competition where people send in a flacker and they judge certain things. And then my brain started thinking, hang on a minute, everyone's missing the World Cup. They want to see a virtual World Cup. And then I thought, this can be done. So bear with me. This is just a concept because I've come up with the Windsurfing TV Virtual Wave World Championships. So at the moment, this is my thought process. They're still sailing in Who Keeper. If we can get enough riders to send in waves, we can do this. So bear with me. 16 riders. Um, four heats to get to the final. One, two, three, four. Man on man, so Mark Parry versus Levi Siver, let's say, in the first round. What I need from those riders is 32 waves. 16 good, 16 bad. Jumbled up, each rider has 32 waves. Now, you guys at home get to pick a rider. So you pick Mark Parry, and you have 32, and you have to pick a random number to pick his four waves that he will use in his first heat. Uh, the guy who's Levi Siver will also pick four of Levi's waves. Randomly, you don't know what you're going to get. Could be a good one, could be a bad one, could be all good. So you have four waves from Mark, four waves from Levi. The best two waves count. And the winner, obviously we get online judges, maybe we get international judges. I haven't quite figured out the, the, the details yet, but let's say we've got some details. I'm going to commentate the heat because I don't know what waves are coming. It will be live, running it live, uh, and we talk it through. Let's say uh, Levi Siver or Mark, Mark Ramses to the next round, and then those four waves cannot be chosen again. So those four waves have gone, and you, then the next heat will have to pick four waves from the 28 remaining. And then, obviously, this hands up, ends up, and we get a winner, we get a world champ. This could be done in different spots. We could do this in Poser, we could do it in Maui, depending where people are sailing. We could do it off old footage, but I'm not sure that will work. Um, I have heard uh, Clip Muller, they could maybe do something. We could do it with amateur sailors. I thought the Send It Academy boys, I could actually pick stuff that I've got from the winter. Uh, you know, half good moves, half bad ones, half attempts at forwards maybe, you know, and we could do a virtual competition. I might even try it with those guys first, maybe eight of them, a shortened version to see if the concept works. Like I said, I'll be commentating it live as if it was a full thing. We'll put it live on the internet that boom virtual competition we get replays we can do all the stuff what do you think let me know is this could this work is it interesting i like have thought about it and i think it could be i think it could fill in the gap at the moment because we're not getting the competition um so again let us know in the comments uh subscribe definitely to the send it academy because the first virtual wave world championships might be on the send it academy youtube channel so that's your chance to subscribe um and leave us some comments 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 i want to hear from you if it's possible if there's any support out there because it will take a bit of effort to do this um i'm thinking maybe i only use the brands that support windsurfing tv i mean it's only fair why should we give the other guys coverage when they're not even helping just a question. What do you think? Let us know. I'm super interested for feedback. And maybe you've got better ideas than me. It's just a concept at the moment. But I think it's going to be sick.